The Hero's Journey. Today, we continue to talk of the hero's journey of mankind through the planet Earth experience. Good day to you, our dearest light workers, starseeds. Every day now, as the energies of the electromagnetic flow of love pervade the world, you are increasingly and increasingly in touch with who you really are. And knowing, a deep confidence and conviction has come upon you. You no longer need to be told that you are a part of divinity itself. You know now, deep within your heart, that you are a fragment of God consciousness, a drop of water in the ocean of God love. Human words are not adequate to describe who and what you have come to know you are. How do you put into words that deep feeling, that wonderful knowing that is settled within you? You look at the world through new and different eyes. You see how the Planet Earth schoolroom experience was designed by you and for you, for your growth and the growth and learning of all humanity. Yes, Planet Earth and its third dimensional frequency of separation, duality and fear was designed specifically to school souls into greater love and a greater awareness of all that is and all that could be. It is the hero's journey from the darkness of fear to the lightness of love. The spirit realm, where love, pure consciousness and blessed awareness reign supreme, is a blissful state in which to exist. Bliss, contentment, union, communion and camaraderie are all that is beyond the veil that parts heaven from earth. This contentment, this blissful existence, does not encourage change or growth. And yet God love is always looking to expand, to extend its horizons to greater heights of love and light. And so was created the material realm. And so was created planet Earth. And through the eons of the planet Earth existence, the planet was tenderly tended and nursed to take its present form, a form that would be a wonderful home, a potential paradise for mankind. And a paradise it will be. You feel that in your heart. You know it deep within your very beingness. Yes, the best is yet to come. And each day, following each day, will be another beautiful day in paradise on planet Earth. Yet first was to come the indoctrination phase, the schoolroom training simulator, where humanity could experience the dream state, the perception deception of the third dimensional fear paradigm. So, you pure souls, you fragments of love, came to Earth, and ensconced yourselves in human body temples. Only so could you function in the material realm. Earth is akin to a beautiful garden, where great care is taken to grow beautiful plants. The right environment, the appropriate amount of sunlight, water and weather, are tuned to nurturing the Earth to be the perfect home for humanity. And humanity is akin to the most beautiful flower, one does not leave a garden to the fates to grow whatever chance may bring about. Rather, one plants those seeds that one wishes to thrive and grow and beautify one's garden. Mankind is like that flower, the perfect rose, the perfect body temple for souls to inhabit, refined and polished as the housing for our souls to experience the material world. The question was, how could these perfect particles of God who were conscious and aware of their mutual perfection, how could they experience limitation, emotion and the fear that is so pervasive on third dimensional planet Earth? And so the hero's journey came about. It is for this experience that the human body and the human mind was designed and refined. Man's soul is eternal, immortal and everlasting. 
yet the human body has a limited lifespan. And this was necessary, for beings that knew that they were everlasting would laugh at the vagaries, at the peculiarities and the eccentricities of the planet Earth journey. And for humanity to experience the limitation and emotion that would generate fear, the human ego was devised. The ego that housed one's sense of self-esteem, self-importance and self-confidence, or lack thereof. The ego was to be created, formed and tempered by the early experience of the child that came into this world. Human body temples are physical, biological, mental computers. Computers that can be programmed to behave according to the instructions of their programmers. And the programming mechanism was to be words. Words, the communication medium mankind uses on planet Earth, are more powerful than the majority of mankind realizes. As the Bible says, by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. And there is an old saying, give me a boy until he is seven, and I will show you the man. Yes, in the childhood years of life, man was to be programmed into fear and negativity by the ideas and thoughts expressed in words of his caretakers. And his caretakers had been programmed by the same ideas and thoughts by their parents. And these words were in the large, negative, for there was also set up a control system, the powers that be, the bad actors, that were to play the part of the devil, the part of temptation in this planet Earth journey, in the hero's journey. And so, you were told you were not good enough. You were told you didn't get anything right. You were told mankind was inherently sinful and evil. You were taught to fear each other. You were taught to speak reactively, fearfully, and say the first thoughtless thing that came to mind. Fear colours a person so that they cannot see or understand what is going on around them, how people are reacting, what effect their words and way of being in the world have on each other. And so, as the Bible says, the sins of the father shall be visited on the sons, yes, until the third and fourth generation, that is, the repetition of negative words by each generation passes on the same dysfunctional thoughts and ideas from grandfather to father to son. And that is what the ego is. The ego consists of the thoughts and ideas that are pounded into us over the years of our childhood. These adopted ideas are not questioned. They are not thought about. Yet they form the filter through which we see and how we react to our world. And of course, Earth being the schoolroom that it is, the ideas that we have formed about life, the cultural morality that we have adopted from our earthly teachers, is then the fulcrum through which we live life. And we protect that ego, that fulcrum, with our very life, and angrily oppose any idea that challenges our ego. So programming is the tool used to temper to condition mankind into self-abasement and fear. And then comes the hero's journey, dismantling the thought system, the cultural morality that we have been given. And you, our dear light worker star seeds, have done just that. You have cleared your ego to a large degree. You have dismissed the thoughts and ideas of your ancestors and formed your own cultural morality found your own moral compass. Yet many of your brethren have not yet done so. They are still enmeshed, engrossed in the picture of the world that their parents gave them. They are still deeply programmed to behave as they have been taught. And now there is a whole new programming that is taking place. That programming is provided by the news media, by the television. False information Untrue words, outright lies are being repeated over and over again on what is called the news. And this news is active 24-7.
and people still immersed in the low, fear, third-dimensional matrix are addicted to listening to the spewing of misinformation. They do not realize that they are being programmed. They do not realize that the repetition of words over and over again has them believing the narrative of their controllers who turn the goodly and godly to evil and evil to goodly and godly. They are so lost and in so much fear for the pandemic has been advertised as being deadly. Masks and social distancing have been pointed out to be the only safe measure that will keep our poor brethren from death. And as time passes, and the same words are repeated over and over again. The fear increases and the conditioning gets deeper and deeper. This is where you come in, our dear ones. As you well know, you are here to help. You are of a higher frequency. You have lived through your hero's journey. You now have benevolent compassion for your brethren, still immersed in their fear frequency. You know this is the time of revelation. You have been rejected by your fearful brethren as being a Pollyanna, a dispenser of unreality. They see that they look at the true situation as it is. They believe they see reality and they wallow in its darkness, thus creating more darkness. And they have reviled you for your efforts at telling them the truth of their television programmed deception. Now, though, all will change shortly. They will see your peace, your calm, amidst the storm of their despair as revelations are made, and they will turn to you for help. And as they emerge from their delusion, so will end the negative human programming. So will end the hero's journey. Victory to the light, and mankind emerges greater, wiser, more loving, and with great benevolent compassion for all that he and his brethren have suffered. Thank you, God, Creator, love, for all this planet Earth experience has taught us. We are very grateful, and we know the difficult, harsh planet Earth experience is almost over, and the best is yet to come. Yes, the best is yet to come. That was Ida, channeling her higher self. We are blessed beings, indeed. Indeed.